I recently bought a handheld radio cassette player. It has a built-in speaker and microphone, and if you want, you can record radio sounds directly onto a blank cassette. This particular device, the Panasonic RX SR39, was made in 1989, two years before I was born. And in the world of technology, where things move at an exceedingly fast rate, I think most people would see this as an out-of-date novelty item with few practical applications that a modern cell phone could easily take care of. So why is this little handheld radio cassette recorder so relevant to me now? I spent my first night with the SR39 sampling late night talk show radio while walking around outside under the stars. Most programs included some form of ranting about the turbulent world we live in, discussing the virus, protests, politics, and identity. There were channels in Spanish and other languages I was unable to recognize or understand, but I suspect that they were talking about the same fears and anxieties as well. If you're listening to us tonight, there's a good chance that you work an overnight shift. While surfing these channels, I felt like a fly on the wall in a community of second and third shift healthcare workers, truck drivers, night owls, and insomniacs who use these voices to get them through their nightly grind as most of us sleep soundly in our beds. As I walked around with the evening bugs chirping, I thought about the older folks in our society who have greater familiarity with radio and cassette tapes, and how my newfound hobby was commonplace for boomers and Generation X before I was even born. When I was a kid, the popularity of tape was fading as CDs became the predominant way to listen to music. With CDs, you could change songs immediately, there was no degradation over time, You could easily make a mix with all of your favorite songs on the computer, burn a bunch of copies, and share it with your friends. CDs were just a more efficient technology for a world that seems to value efficiency above all else. Sure, scratches would ruin the CD, and listening to a portable CD player while walking around without the 60 second audio buffer could lead to some seriously annoying skipping sounds. But otherwise, CDs were how I started my day on the early morning bus rides to school. Half asleep listening to Linkin Park to drown out the high intensity sounds of childhood excitement. But with CDs, you can't do much with them. As far as I know, you can't easily manipulate sound by changing its speed, or erase sections with a magnet, or loop sound over and over again. You can't record the radio in real time or jot down a quick verbal note. And this is in part what inspired me to get this little device. I'd been watching videos about how to experiment with tape, similar to what Eno pioneered in Music for Airports back in 1978. And there seems to be a pretty lively community of cassette tape users who are always coming up with interesting ways to push the medium. The experiments with tape were not the only reason I wanted to explore this avenue. I've also been listening to a lot of instrumental lo-fi hip-hop on the internet, and I wanted to have a device that I could use to get a unique set of sounds for sampling. I know vinyl is often the go-to for sampling old tracks, but vinyl is not portable and is way more expensive than tapes. I also like to be outside and don't have a lot of money at the moment, so a cassette player was a natural choice. My goal is to record samples from worn out tapes and radio programs in hopes of loading the sounds onto my samplers and using them to make cool beats. I also want to try recording my synths onto the tapes and create tape inspired virtual instruments and see how it changes the overall character of the sound. To most, I'm assuming the difference won't be noticeable. But to me, it has the potential to provide that extra layer of texture. Long Island is bracing for the impact of tropical storm Isaias later today as it moves up the coast. WCBS reporter Sophia Hall says there's a lot to consider ahead of this storm system. The day after my late night radio walk, a tropical storm knocked down a bunch of trees causing a statewide power outage. 
I couldn't use my musical gear and I don't have any data on my iPhone, so I wasn't able to check social media or watch YouTube videos. But I did have a bunch of AA batteries and a radio cassette player. I could tune in to get updates about the damage, and Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong kept me company, singing their sweet melodies through the tiny little speaker as I rearranged my room with a headlamp. Now, the power is back on while I sit comfortably in the light, yearning for simpler times. I'm beginning to realize that it might be mostly nostalgia driving me to enjoy this device so much. Hopefully the sounds of the rose-colored past can mix with what feels like a dreary, dystopian fanfic of the modern world in order to make something new and meaningful. Il y a quelque chose qui va dans, dans l'autre direction complètement. Il y a...